So, Sumeru, it's right around the corner, basically exactly a week away as of the point I released this video. Whether you are excited for Sumeru or not, I am sure it's going to be an amazing region because as always, Hoyovers have been nailing all of the regional designs so far, making it very interesting to go through and play when it comes to Genshin Impact region. Now, speaking of Sumeru, there are definitely new characters and of course, our first new 5-star character of Sumeru is is going to be Tenery. And since many of us might be going for him, it's always going to be important to actually know what 4 star character is going to be on the banner because especially for free to play player, the 4 star character cast will also be one of the most important factors to be whether you will pull on the banner or not. And so as usual today we will have a prediction video on which 4 star character are going to be coming on Tenery's banner. Now since it is a prediction video only, which character we decide to be on the banner at the end of this video is is obviously not confirmed but as always i'm pretty confident in my prediction because in the past video most of them have been correct now guys in collaboration with tavat times we're doing a 6480 premium gems pack giveaway once tenery banner drops so if you want to have a chance to successfully pull for the character that you want during patch 3.0 be sure to subscribe to my channel and join my discord server where i will be holding the giveaway link to discord down in the description guys and with that, let's just hop into the video. Okay, speaking about Tenery's banner, we've already got it confirmed that Kole is going to be the first character going along with him. So that will just make our whole job of prediction a lot easier now because we only need another two slots. As usual, our Amber, Lissa, and Kaya sadly will never appear on the banner. And also, any of the characters that have appeared in patch 2.8, which are Yunjin, Xinjiang, Benny, Hazel, Thoma, and Ningguang, is most likely not going to be appears as well. So that's already a decent amount of character that have been crossed out. Now we will predict the two remaining characters and how I will do it is I will rank the characters based on the chances from low to medium and high chance. For low chance, first is going to be Kuki Shinobu, Goro, Chongyun, Yanfei, Barbara, Noel who have all appeared since banner 2.7 and then there will also be Rosaria, Sayu and Sucrose who appeared in patch 2.6. Medium chance, there's going to be Shangling, Razor, who both appeared in patch 2.6, and then Diona of patch 2.5. Now, the reason why Rosaria, Sayu, and Sucrose, who was in 2.6 but was put on the low chance, is because they have the least resonance with Tenery. And Shangling and Razor would have a lot more resonance with him, so it has a bigger chance of appearing on his banner. And then finally, for high chance, we will have Sarah, Fisher, who appeared in 2.5, and then Singcho and and Beidou who appeared in patch 2.4. So these four characters would have a pretty big chance of appearing on Tenery banner because especially of the resonance. Since Dendro will be reacting very well with Hydro and Electro, they are perfect to be on Tenery's banner. Firstly, we'll look into Xingqiu who I believe it has the most potential of being guaranteed on his banner because of out of the four characters who are three Electro already, Xingqiu is the only one who is Hydro and he hasn't been back for the longest time as well so his chance is going to be the biggest. Now since Tenery is focused on charge attack it might not work too well with Xingqiu but it can't really be that bad because the only thing you need to do is to weave in one or two normal attack between charge attack when you're playing Tenery. And as always Xingqiu has always been one of the top character in terms of support as well as dealing off field damage so we can't really complain if he is on the banner. Next is Beidou who's also a pretty decent off-field support character for Tenery. Again, she does need to have no more attack weave in between in order to have her triggered, but work just the same as Xingqiu nonetheless. Fischl is a bit similar to Beidou, however, she doesn't really require you to weave in no more attack in order to trigger Oz. Plus, Fischl does help your team regenerate a lot of particles as well because she is one of the best characters in terms of helping with energy particles, so you can also never complain if she does appear on the banner. And then for 
or Sarah. She would also be very good as well, especially when you have Constellation. She would be a bit like Bennett helping Tinnery have his attack increase by a lot. So it wouldn't be too bad if she does appear on the banners as well. And so through all of these, I would say Tinnery banner would have these characters. First is definitely Kole, and then next is Singchu. Then finally, the most probable is basically Beidou, but then we do have Sarah official in her options as well. Which is nonetheless going to be a very good banner regardless of which character appear. Because even if you've already got these characters, having their constellation would boost their damage and gameplay by a lot. So let me know down in the comment section who you think is going to be appearing on Tenerys banner. And since Sumeru is going to be coming really soon, if you feel like you have nothing to do in Genshin Impact right now guys, then I would say there are at least 10 more things that you can do in order to prepare WoW for Sumeru. Because that's going to get you a huge head start once the region comes. So if you haven't really prepared anything, be sure to check out the video where I list 10 top things that would help you to prepare for Sumeru. I hope that the video has been helpful and enjoyable for you. Again guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to not miss out on my future videos. And with that, I wish you a super day and I will catch you on the next one.